Hello, this is Richard of Richard Bloom Hypnotherapy. The other day I was doing a video on obsessive thoughts and earworms and how music and thoughts can get stuck in your head. And extreme thoughts, which we call obsessions, can really destroy someone's life. We touched upon a situation where you may inadvertently become emotionally involved with someone even without them knowing it and becoming emotionally attached to someone, unrequited love, that sort of feeling, even though you might be married and in a full-time relationship because you're with them for a long time, every day, maybe in a work environment, you start building up a connection that you don't really want. Well, someone wrote in to ask a little bit more about how do you do this? How can you unlove someone? Very good question. So now I've done this sort of work with hundreds of clients, hundreds, all right, many, many clients over the years. And I've been working with this sort of uh, problem for over 30 years. I'll give you an example. I had a client came to see me. He was in a relationship for over 10 years. This relationship, he was in construction and she was um, in, in, in banking and, and, and finance and that sort of thing. And what had happened was that um, she'd um, built up this, as you say, this relationship, but her family came from a very different background. They were scientists, doctors and teachers, and they really frowned upon the fact that she was going out with this guy in construction, a builder. However, what happened was towards the end of this 10 year uh, relationship, she just walked out. My client was devastated, absolutely beside himself, almost suicidal. So I said to him, <clears throat> right, to move on, you need to commit yourself to moving on. So I'm going to ask you to write a letter. So I got him to write a letter to me, handwritten, saying, I give Richard Bloom permission for me to emotionally let go of his previous partner. He signed it and dated it. Now, very often my clients who are in a very bad position, who, who are very committed to relationships, sometimes, even though they know this relationship is over and they need to move on, they can't write that letter yet. And that's fine. We can do some work in regards to helping them to, to even get to the stage of writing their letter. But this client needed to move on and he was prepared to write the letter. So he photographed it and emailed it to me and gave me permission. Then we were able to start working with his relationship, literally unwinding it. And this is what we do now using hypnosis techniques. We take you into a very deep state of gentle relaxation and we're able to literally unwind a relationship um, by going all the way back to the very first time I ever met them and putting an old head on young shoulders and starting to literally explain to that part of them that had never met them yet, never met the partner yet, that uh, it's going to end at some point in the future and it's not a permanent relationship. It's a little bit like traveling back in time um, and knowing then what you wish you, you know, what you know now. Um, and so we are literally enabling that person to accept this knowledge and then we go through their entire relationship with this new perspective and enabling an emotional detachment that could never have been enabled before. This does work because I have worked with people um, again and again and again in different different guises, different perspectives. But basically, that's the that's the plan. And when we finally clear that, we may go over this several times in different ways using various techniques By the time we've finished when they remember that person it's fuzzy they don't feel that emotional attachment anymore in fact they feel quite distant um, and this can this can happen we can do this in about six or so weeks um, roughly <clears throat> one one session a week so in answer to your question can you unlove someone the answer is if you're totally committed and you're prepared to allow us to work together to move on, then yes, you can unlove someone, whether it's uh, just an infatuation or whether it's a very deep, long-term relationship, we can start working with it. 
Obviously, the more complex the relationship, the harder it is to disentangle and to unravel, but it can still be done if you're totally committed to moving on. The advantage is that if you are entering into a new relationship a few months later, several months later, the amount of baggage you're carrying is substantially less. And if, for example, six months into a relationship, you say, you know, what, I'm still thinking about this person. I feel as though I'm being almost unfaithful. Then contact me and we can finish off and tidy up those little bits because we've already worked together. The connection is there and we can rapidly enable you to achieve these goals. So if you are going through that sort of thing, whether it's an emotional connection with, say, example, someone you've lost in a bereavement or maybe you've, you have an animal that's been a part of your life for, for 10, 15 years and you've lost this beautiful animal and they're no longer part of your life and you're obsessed with them and you think about them all the time. Maybe when you're ready, be time to start to let go.